That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is very clean too. Wow. Love. Yeah. Love that little robot. Yeah. Lots of detail. It's nice that little that little kiss of light in the uh, on the wall back. And the poster in the background. Hello humans. In this video, I will guide you through the process of how I created my submission for the Love at First Move Challenge by Rococo. From creating an AI animation to character creation, retargeting, clothing, compositing, and even this cute little robot. First, we're gonna go to rococo.com slash product slash video, and you're gonna click on the button try out free AI mocap. After that, go ahead and click on create new scene and name your scene. You can record straight from your webcam or choose a local file that you shot already. And drag and drop the clip of your choice, it can be horizontal, vertical, you can even grab a dancing video from your favorite dancer, of course acknowledging that either. Stream your file and hit turn into animation. While waiting for the clip to upload, download Rococo Studio. Down below you see animation clip has been created. When you open Rococo Studio, you're going to see the scene that you've created earlier. Double click on the new recording and preview your animation. Whenever you're happy with your animation, on the right side go ahead and hit export clips. What worked best for me was an FBX file format with a Mixamo skeleton preset. Go to Blender, File, Import FBX, and before you click Import FBX, make sure you go to Armature and click Automatic Bone Orientation. And bam, your animation is ready to be targeted to a character of your choice. I chose DAS Studio for my character since it has a lot of character preset packs that you can modify to your liking. I do not use DAS that often, so I won't be going into detail how I got to this character, except a couple of important steps that I went through. For this one, I used the original DAS to Blender plugin. You install DAS Central, log in, and click on Install DAS to Blender Bridge. Whenever installed, go select your character and go to File, Send to, DAS to Blender. On the pop up, you click on Advanced Settings and choose your Blender version or click Custom, Atom, Path, and navigate to your version. I leave everything else as is and click Accept. You open Blender, go to Edit Preferences, Add on, and search for DAS to Blender plugin and click on it. On the right side menu, click N to open Navigate, the add on named DAS to Blend, and click Import New Genesis Figure, and bam, your character is transferred. For targeting, I use two plugins the Rococo plugin and another plugin called Cats. All the plugins are linked in the description. Once you install them, edit preferences, add-ons, Rococo and Cats. And this time you should have the armature animation from Rococo and the character from DAS 3D. First you have to fix the rest pose of your DAS character. Go into pose mode and adjust your character to a T pose, fixing mainly the hands, wrists, thumbs and legs closely to the rest pose of the Rococo armature animation. When ready, go to the Cats plugin and click apply as rest pose. And when you see this glitch of random objects showing up, that means it worked and it just delete those. I have no clue why they show up or whatnot. Please let me know if you know, but after that, navigate to the Rococo plugin, click on retargeting, go to the source and choose your animation. And your target is the Genesis character. Click the build bone list and make sure all bones are placed correctly. Click retarget animation and voila, you successfully retargeted your animation. There is a plugin called Animation Layer that is my favorite saver of keyframe cleanup and it only costs around 20 ish dollars. I don't like the Blender NLA editor, it has so many issues, this you just, you're gonna see, it's awesome. Once you install Animation Layers, select your armature and click turn on animation. Hitting on the plus sign you see base layer and anim layer. The base layer represents your animation that you have so far. And the other one is the animation you want to add on top. Let's say I rename this to posture layer and fix the posture of my character a bit. I just make sure I turn on automatic keyframes when doing this because it's way faster and easier. Additional to that, you can also keyframe the influence of each layer, which is very cool. This way you can add as much layers on top as you want. For example, let's say I wanna add one more called the hands layer for small hands adjustment, fingers and so on. After that, you can go ahead and click bake operation and merge all the keyframes from all layers. Marvelous. It's time to put some clothes on your character. Whenever you're happy with your animation, go to File, Export, Alembic. Once you're in Marvelous Designer, go to File, Alembic and change the scale to meters. This way, your character is going to be with the appropriate proportion and it's not going to be super tiny or super big and it just works for me. On the bottom, you see an arrow to open up the animation tab. Go to bottom, right and change the settings from frame stepping to real time. This way, your animation will play smoothly and not like something crazy like that. There are many free garments in the asset store that you can find or make your own. Before you choose your garment, you click on this icon and click Create Fitting Suit. You start by giving three points to each part shown in the guidance, supper and lower neck, waist, wrists and so on. 99% of the time your characters in a T-pose will be completely symmetrical, but right now I exported mine and it's not, so it's a perfect case to show you that here you can uncheck symmetry and finish the guide and click apply. If your character is fitted with this red bodysuit and nothing major is out of proportion outside of this suit, you're good to go and click save. For the bottom I chose those cargo pants and just drag and drop them into the scene and click add. Now go to that same icon and click retarget draping and wait for it to load and voila, it automatically fits your character. 
Before simulating, go and check fast with GPU for a fast simulation results. Same goes for the tab. Add your garment and click retarget draping. Click simulate again or spacebar and fix the two garments by pulling on the parts with issues. I sometimes have issues with retargeting draping on the two garments together, so I do it one by one. And also it doesn't work every time and I had a lot of trouble shooting here. Whenever you're done with putting your garments on the character, my animation from the character disappears. So just delete my character and add the Olympic file once again but make sure that the clothes are not in simulation before you delete it because they're gonna fall off once added again when you hit play nothing happens go at frame 1 and hit record if you have a more complicated garment with a longer keyframe movement make sure to increase the simulation quality for a better simulation this way the garment won't stick to each other and it's not gonna cause any weird issues. For going to export, make sure your UVs from the garments align in one square. There are two methods of exporting. The first one is by selecting everything, file, export, alembic, ogawa. Hop in Blender, file, import, alembic, make sure to uncheck auto smooth because it just works a bit better. To import the texture, go to material, make new material, make sure that the no wrangler plugin is turned on. Hit Ctrl Shift plus T and select all textures created from the Alembic file and you're good to go. This way the textures to all your clothing are not assigned. You go back to Marvelous and export the exact same thing as a OBJ. Uncheck select all avatars and hit OK. Go back to Blender and import your OBJ and add the mesh sequence cache modifier. For the file path, choose the Alembic file that we exported earlier and for the object path, just choose the only option that is visible there. You see that the important garment will change its position, but don't worry, just align it back with 90 degrees. I just hit GR and minus 90. Everything in this method is the same, except now all materials are assigned and visible to each part of your garment. Since the cargo pants have thousands of materials, it's really hard to find which material goes where. Just go to edit mode and select the vertices. For the material, you want to change something and it's going to be highlighted. Now change the material to whatever you like. For example, this cool cloth UV material from the plugin of real time materials of Ducky 3D. Time to make the environment of your character. I wanted my character to be one of those uh, fancy pet groomers that makes the dog go plushy and fluffy and do all those things to the pets but in a cyber punky way so i made a pet grooming shop for cyber pets i've kid bashed whatever you see behind me on this background as a little bit of tools some piping and also on this poster behind me you can see that i have like 80 hours on the deadline and i was not ready yet so that's what i put as well pretty simple set so i've modeled and rigged this puppy from polyform mechanical creature pack with the idea of adding pc components inside with a small cute face which i've animated in after effects that's it for this tutorial how to use Rococo AI motion capture. With this powerful tool you can quickly and easily capture realistic motion for your projects. If any other questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.